I am so excited because the Step the Out Step TV, Out shows TV shows are back live on T2I TV. And for those who don't know, Step Out is a series of interviews and motivational segments designed to bring the best out of you and your business. Therefore, we have the following TV programs. Our first TV program, which is our flagship program, dubbed Step Out Step with out Oscar, with Oscar Bimpong, Bimpong, is designed to interview consultants, experts, talented people, and those doing exceptionally well in their communities. The second one is Step is Out Step SME, out, SME, SME Focus. 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 This is where we interview business owners and showcase their products and services. The third one is Step is Out step Youth out impact, 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 zone. impact Zone. This is where we interview young people succeeding against all odds to serve as an inspiration to other young people. And the last one is Step Out Authors, Authors Corner. Corner. And this is where we interview authors to share what their book is about to the world. Join us every week. Like T2I TV on Facebook and subscribe to the YouTube channel. To advertise or for further information, do WhatsApp plus 447591152983 or plus 233-5580-3924. Or email info at train to inspire dot com. T to I T V. We engage, educate, enlighten, and empower. empower. Welcome to another exciting edition of the Step Out Youth Impact Zone. And this is the time that we interview young people that are doing amazingly well on the continent of Africa and in the diaspora. The idea is to give them the platform for them to share knowledge, for them to share their experiences and their stories for them to really share their frustrations. Why? Because they are not being given a voice and there are no platforms for them to share what they believe in. And that is what the Step Out Youth Impact Zone is all about. And I'm really enthused about the number of people, young people in diaspora and on the continent of Africa that we have interviewed because look, their stories, they have, their stories have inspired a lot of young people across the globe. And that is what we do. Now, before I go on to my guest, let me give a few mentions of, of, of my sponsors. This program is sponsored by ALS Global Shipping and Logistics, your trusted import and export company based in Accra. ALS says if you are stranded at the port, Call them and they will sort you out. Also, Train to Inspire Consultancy, your business training and consulting firm. Train to Inspire Consultancy works with students. They also work with uh, students in second cycle institutions, colleges, and universities. Now, um, if you want to really work to Train to Inspire, they are the best when it comes to the personal development of students. Also, ZP Ghana Limited, your remittance and mobile money company based in Ghana. They just launched their ZP mobile money USSD code, which is star 270 hash. Just dial on your phone to register for ZP mobile money. Now, if you want to contact any of our sponsors, their contact details are scrolling on the screen. Also, if you want to uh, support what we are doing or you want to sponsor any of our programs, take the number for T2Y TV UK or train to inspire consultancy contact us and we are going to work with you now tonight we are going to talk about something very important something that is dear to my heart and something that a lot of business startups and smes neglect and i think it's something that we need to really talk about we really need to share knowledge on it 
so that it is going to help a lot of business startups and SMEs to really take note and know where to go when it comes to this topic. And this is a young man that is doing amazingly well. Um, he is a person I met about three years ago in a conference. And his, um, his business idea was, I was quite intrigued that a young person who really have such an idea to really, really build a business that a lot of, it doesn't even come across the minds of a lot of young people. And he is a brand strategy and an entrepreneur. And he is in the person of Jerry Biscoff, all the way, coming all the way from Accra. Please welcome to Step Out Youth Impact Zone and you are live on T2I TV UK. Thank you very much, Mr. Oscar Bimpong. Oh, thank you, thank you. It's, it's been nice having you on the show. Nice having you too, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will be very glad if you can come a little bit closer to the screen so that you are full on the screen. Yeah. All right, then. Okay. Yes. So our topic for discussion is building brand strategy as a young entrepreneur. Now, before we go to that, who is Jerry Biscoff in your own ways? Okay. Thank you very much once again. Right. Jerry Biscoff is... Uh, a nation builder right he likes to be known as a brand strategist and an entrepreneur an entrepreneur in the sense that he actually started so passionately to solve problems that are going on in ghana he wasn't of the view that there are no opportunities in ghana he identified a lot of problems and realized that with proper solution to them they will become something that will, will not just benefit him, but will go a long way to benefit the entire nation. Mm. That's what makes him an entrepreneur. And mm. being a brand strategist, he realized that he had solutions that are top-notch, that are mm. world-class, and he wouldn't just want to keep the solutions for himself, else he'll be building a, about a thousand businesses. But he, he has to share ideas with a lot of people, and that really takes his time, which meant that he has to make it one of his, you know, um, business, one, one of his businesses, you know, becoming a, a brand strategy. So he spends time with people, teaches people to, you know, properly build their brands. And again, I would like to say that he is a Christian because he, he was born into Christianity. He grew to know Christ for himself. And since then, he hasn't decided to denounce Christ. And that's what has really built him on values. Mm. Mm. Wow, that's quite interesting. Now, who is a brand strategist? So a brand strategist is, is Jerry Biscoff. <laughs> <laughs> but before Jerry Biscoff, there are other people who, who are doing brand strategy all right so i would like to say a brand strategist is um, a person who has mastered the art of you know developing plans that are creative for a business to be able to properly position itself in, in the market to enable it to achieve its long-term objectives that's who a brand strategist is does a brand really relate to just because when people hear brand, what comes into their mind is logo. Is a brand just a logo? Not at all. A logo is just like 10% of branding. Mm. Because before a logo, there are concepts that has to, you know, bring about the logo. So why do you just start branding and, and, and start with a logo? Large companies do not do branding this way. So I'm of the view that people should act like large companies. This doesn't take too much budget. It doesn't take a huge budget, you know, to, to do something like this. Mm. But you are going into business to compete with large companies. So why won't you decide to do the things that they are doing and mm -hmm. 
also stand out and be recognized. So it's far more than just a, a logo. It's got a lot of details, very de detailed, um, you know, process to become, you know, or to have um, a brand. No. So what are some of the details that you, you can really um, look into? Like now, I want to do, I want to start my business. What are some of the details that I have to look into if I really want to build that brand that I want? All right. Apart so, from the logo. Okay. So before you think of branding, I mean, you should understand that you are going to sell to people, right? Mm -hmm. You're not going to sell to, excuse me to say, animals. You're mm -hmm. going to sell to people. And you should be able to build something that will connect well with people. Mm -hmm. So the whole idea of branding is not just to make the brand stand out, okay? But to be able to properly connect with people. So that means you must think of putting a purpose behind the brand that you are building. If the brand is not purposeful, it wouldn't move people emotionally. Mm -hmm. So the first thing that you might want to think about is how is this going to connect well with people? And that has to be the brand purpose. Mm -hmm. And the brand purpose will bring about what we call brand essence. Mm -hmm. Brand essence also brings about brand positioning. How will you you know, position this brand in the minds of people. There, there should be a space in the minds of your target audience that you own. So that even if they are buying other, other brands that deliver the same thing that you do, they still have you in mind because you make them feel a different way that the other brands do not make them feel. That's why you find someone buying different kind of drinks. Mm -hmm. Coca-Cola, Ceres, or, you know, other, other, you know, soft drinks. They pick those ones according to how they make them feel. They wouldn't leave Coca-Cola out because, you know, it makes them, you know, feel that, oh, they are really going in for celebration. Mm -hmm. Understand? So you are not just buying the products. You are buying a feeling it gives you. Mm -hmm. And these are things that you should properly, you know, put in place to enable you stand out in the market and be recognized. But so this, is few, this is just a few I would like to share with you, but there are a whole lot more in there. But somebody will say, I'm a startup. I don't have much money. All these things that you are talking, I, I cannot invest in them for now. So what should I do? <laughs> okay, so um, the experiences I've had with different types of clients developing brand strategy is that, yes, indeed, this, this is very detailed, and I, I would want to charge a particular figure, which not everyone would be able to, to, to purchase. And that's why programs like this are important, okay? Someone has money and doesn't want to come and listen to what Jerry Biscop has to say. But if your budget is not up to a large company, you should be seeking knowledge, right? Mm -hmm. So if you have understanding you are very much closer to having a solution, okay? So understand that it's not just by, you know, having a logo, so that when you are going into it, you are very much conscious about the fact that building a brand doesn't just have to do with a logo. So Jerry Biscoff has taught you that it goes way beyond that. The strategy behind the identity you have created is like the 90% work, right? So once you understand this, you will be seeking to you know, bring in the 90% before you, you feel you are properly branded. So mm -hmm. this is what I would like to say for the time being. As time goes on, I mean, you, you, don't, you don't do everything on, on a go. I mean, you don't have the budget. It doesn't mean that you can't start. You can start by having the understanding that this is what it entails. As mm -hmm. time goes on, when you're able to get in investors for your business, then you know that you are locating some money for, you know, a, a brand strategy, you understand? Then you can contact Jerry Biscoff to help you through this. So you are leaving some of them to make money, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you have to leave my 10%, right? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. But but I think a lot of people talk about branding, 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 and now it's become like, it's become like the talk of everywhere. Um, people brand their business, 
But the point is that do people really understand the impact that branding is supposed to achieve? Um, I think um, a lot of people don't um, understand the impacts, even though they, they see brands and they feel them. Because if they really, really understand the impacts, they would want to seek expert advice to be able to put up something proper for themselves. So I'll, I'll, I'll say that some people get, I mean, they see brands working, okay? But they don't really know what it entails to, you know, get them to a, a level, which is why I'm, I'm putting up this fight, helping people to understand what it really does so that you would not just um, decide to do anything, but do it properly, build a brand properly. You get my point? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, because the reason why I ask that is that you go to Instagram now. Everybody has got a brand. They've got their logo. They've got it more. It looks more professional. Their website, whatever it takes for a brand to really, um, um, like you say, okay, this business is well branded. But the question is that their services are very poor, meaning that the brand that is on the outlook and what you are, what people experience is different. Yeah. Now, what is that disparity? Does it mean okay. that people don't even know what they are doing when it comes to the brand that they are building and the outcome that they want to receive from that brand? Okay. So before you go into, into a business or before you go into the branding process, you have to have something in mind. What are you promising the people that you want to sell to? What is that promise you are giving to people that you want to sell to? Recently, I've realized that a lot of people just get up to, 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 to start a business. Why would you start a business when you haven't identified a problem? I don't get it, honestly. But you see that Mr. Oscar Bimpon is doing this. So, oh, this thing sells. I see the way people are really following Mr. Oscar Bimpon. So I'm also going to do the same thing. And then you, you get up and do the same thing without not having any, you know, tangible reason for what you are doing. I will start a business when I have identified a problem. So that problem is, is, is what is driving me to go into that business. So when I get into that business, I know that this is my focus. Mm -hmm. I'm, going to, I'm going to ensure that I deliver this promise. So in the long run, people would, would, would identify me as the one who is actually solving this problem. And they, they will not do without my business because in a long time, let me use my kinky for instance. I'm a kinky seller by God's grace. I identified um, a problem with fancy kinky so many years ago. Kinky had issues. So why would I sit down and watch kinky you know, not get branded. I have the gift of branding, even though that time I hadn't started brand strategy. Okay. I had a gift. I had a passion for adding value to things of negligible value. And by God's grace, my mom sells God kinky. So I'm like, let me not go too far. Like God asked Moses, Moses, what do you have in your hand? Moses says, I have a rod. Okay. This is what I'm going to bless you. I mean, through this, I'm going to bless you. So my mom had kinky. I had branding ideas, let's bring the two together. And then Yabruni is Beth. So you see, what I am in, I'm, I'm focused on to give to customers is, is, is value. What is that value I've given to Kinky? Now you see this properly branded, and it's not just branded, it's gotten, it's, it's, it has something extra to it. It's not just the, the corn, now it has sesame seed, fortified with sesame seed to increase the health benefits that you get from eating your kinky and this also has a longer shelf life that will keep you for even a year and we've we've started exporting into the united states okay so this can can last long it doesn't have preservatives right so if you love your fancy kinky and you travel to uk as my my noble oscar bimpon is, is in the uk he loves his kinky 
So, Jerry, how, how, how are you going to get me kinky um, over here in UK? Then I'll be like, okay, don't ha- you don't have a problem. My kinky is well packaged. It's not going to give you issues. No molds growing on the kinky. So that's a solution I've given to someone who loves his kinky very much. So in the long run, this is just what I'm focused on. I'm delivering a promise. Mm-hmm. Before I brought all these things together, mm-hmm. um, all these um, looks, you know, to attract you to know that this is something that fits your class as well. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's, wow. been, it's, it's been run on certain promise that I want to give to the market. Wow. I, I think you're making some great points, right? And uh, the reason why I really wanted to interview you was um, you, you made a statement that God asked Moses, what do you have in your hands? You see, a lot of young people have got so many things in their hands, but they are looking somewhere else for opportunity, yeah. right? But yeah. you, are, you saw the opportunity that was in your household because yeah. your mom was selling kinky and you say, you're not looking far. I am going to add value to Kinky. And what you have done is similar to Coco Kane, adding value to just Coco. And yeah. now he is a millionaire just selling Coco. And now he has diversified into other foods. Yeah. Now, you, you made a very powerful statement in terms of delivery of promise. Yeah. And I think that is the most biggest challenge of small and medium enterprises not only in Ghana, but across Africa. Yeah. What they say is different from what they do. What do you think is the problem? <laughs> well, I, I think um, they, they are not driven by values, okay? They are not driven by values. You see, reputation is, is gotten from doing something hard so well, according to Jeff Bezos. See, if you understand what reputation means, you will not put yourself out there, tell people that I'm going to do this for you, they bring their money, and then you give them something else. Mm -hmm. I, you know, incorporated sesame seed and fancy kinky. So you come to buy my kinky, and then you don't find the sesame seed in it. I'm lying to you. That thing I have just done, has tarnished the image of the brand. And a brand, let's not forget, brand is what people say you are, not what you think you are. Mm-hmm. You only have the, the pen or the, 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 the pencil to sketch or design what you want people to see. When you design it and they see it according to what you have designed, you, let's say I draw Kwame and Chroma and then you are seeing it as um, Obama then I haven't really drawn Kwame and Kuma very well. I have to go back to the drawing board. Mm. Okay? So, if I tell you I'm going to do this, and I'm doing something else, and that, that means I'm deceiving you. Okay? It's because I don't have a, 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 some, some, some set values, you know, down that I'm following. I'm not following any guiding principle. But if I'm following guiding principles, this is what is going to take me a long way because I'm, I'm, I'm thinking long term, right? So I will not just play around trying to make some money. In the next two, three, four, five years, I wouldn't have a business anymore because people will, will meet and then they will say, oh, this business is a lie. It's just a scam. So you, you come to my social media and people will be dropping comments. I had a friend like that. She was selling a, a, a product, okay, and she had, you know, people commenting, commenting about, you know, the product that you has come, you are this, you are that, and then she goes to delete the comment. <laughs> she goes to delete the comment, and then I'm like, what are you, what are you actually doing? You see, business thrives thrives on recommendation. Me being a brand strategist has really, really, you know, taught me so much lesson. I don't advertise myself more but every client who comes to me is recommended by somebody then ask mm-hmm. myself what am i doing so well that these people re- recommend me okay i say brand strategy i put a brand ma- 
brand manual together, if you go through the manual, this is something you haven't seen before. Then they feel like, no, I want my friend to get what Jerry is delivering. Okay? So they will recommend my services. But if I tell you I'll do this and I give you half of what I promised you, you will not be satisfied. And therefore, you will not recommend anybody to me. And in the long term, I'm not going to have a business. I'm empty. I'm not going to have a brand. So young people, small scale businesses should learn, you know, how to, you know, stick to values. They should, they should learn that reputation is what will take them very far. And they shouldn't compromise on these things because that's what really builds a brand. Wow, wow, wow. Krasner, I'm really enjoying this discussion. But look, if you are watching us, your token of support to this platform is for you to share this, for somebody to have an opportunity to watch this. Lots and lots of young people go to Instagram now. Too many businesses. Everybody is trying to have a fair share of the market. But trust me, they are well branded, but they don't deliver promise. They are not value driven, as Jerry is saying. And these are the kind of education that small and medium enterprises, as far as and as well as startups, business startups, this is what they need to know. And we are not bringing an old man to come and talk about this discussion. We have brought in a young person who decided that like, look, I want I'm seeking for opportunity. This man did not look out for to get a visa to travel to China or to come to UK or America. He just looked at what the mother was doing, decided that, look, I am going to add value to what my mom is doing. And now he's got a business. He's got a consultancy firm. And he's even supplying to the United States. These are the kind of people we interview on this platform. Yeah, you don't come and sing hip life and go. Even with your hip life, you have some serious questions to answer. And that is yeah. what we do here. We are trying to build a platform for knowledge for the African continent and those in diaspora. And we believe that all of us should be supporting this agenda. And if you are the first, if you are first here watching us, we want to encourage you to like our page on, on Facebook, TTY TV UK, and also on YouTube. Now, let me ask you this. Young people have got this mindset of what I'm going to get to survive for today. Most young people don't think about tomorrow yeah. because they, they are, they, it's about instant gratification. Mm. So whatever they will do to make the sale today, they will do to get the sale. But if the person does not come back, they don't really care. How can this mindset change? This mindset has to change for one simple um, term. Are you thinking about yourself alone or you are thinking about the nation? And if I, if I say the nation, the people of the nation. If you are thinking about yourself alone, if you are being selfish, then instant gratification is the way to go. But if you are people-centered, if you are a nation builder like myself and, and, and the people of Code, Code 57, that's my, my family, Code 57. It's a movement uh, based here in Ghana. Our founder is Pastor David. Shout outs to him and every other Code 57 member. You see, if you are, if you are nation builders like Code 57 members and Jerry Biscoff, you would put the people first. And then if you're putting people first, you're looking at that problem that affects a lot of people. Because, you know, wealth is hidden in the problems that we solve for people. If you are able to solve problems for just 10 people, you might be worth just 10 cities a day. If you are solving a problem for a, a number of people, like, say, 100,000 people, you could be 100,000 cities worth a day, depending on where you are. If you are in U.S., it's dollars. If you are solving a problem for a million, millions of people, think about it. That's what makes you rich. So our mindset of getting wealth is what has to be corrected. If you, are, if, if you, follow, if you follow betting, if you follow betting, if you follow betting, then you are just, honestly, you are thinking about yourself. Because you're like, hey, how can I 
you know, make money today. I mean, it's not just about today, but even if we leave this earth, how are the solutions that you've given to the world going to leave the test of time? How are these solutions going to help your generation? These are the sort of mindsets that we, sh we should incorporate when we are living our life. And so if you're living your life and you're just thinking about yourself, then it's instant gratification. But if you're thinking about a lot of people, then you would want to take your time, build something, build something and build it well that will employ a lot of people, that will serve a lot of people. We, we are enjoying Facebook today because one young man decided to step out and give something that will, will help. Mark Zuckerberg didn't even... You know, he wasn't driven by money. He had so much passion in building Facebook, and that's all he cared about. Before mm -hmm. people who knew how to monetize his skills came through for him. And today, look at how we are living life. COVID is around, but we are not, you know, the social distancing at its best. Mm -hmm. What a solution for the world. If he lives, God, God should grant him a longer life. If he lives this earth, I am sure he's going, he's going to heaven. And that's what God brought us to do, you know, mm. serving this particular purpose, thinking about people. Mm. And that's the way to go. Wow, wow, wow. That is the way to go. And uh, that, is, that is about solving problems. That is why I'm sitting in London, you are sitting in Accra, and we are having a powerful discussion. There is always a problem to solve. And I think that is, the, that, that is what is actually um, um, destroying a lot of young people. There is one thing I always say that Africa has got the most problems in the world. <laughs> you can That's, actually... why, That's why it's the most, most richest country. Yes, and 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 I, I yeah. yeah, I always say that you can argue with me. But today I put something on Facebook. I said nobody goes to the market and buy problems. Mm. Everybody goes to the market to buy solutions. That's true. So it is about the solution you bring to the market that people will buy, not the problems that you discuss. And I think it's about time young people start solving the problems on the continent. Yeah. But there is one thing that I have realized, and that is a lot of young people, when it comes to starting a business, branding their business, the first biggest obstacle is I don't have money. <laughs> this is also a powerful mindset that needs to be changed. Because I meet somebody today very enthusiastic about a vision. Five years along the line, you meet the person and you ask them, have you started your business? He says no. Why? They can give you a thousand reasons why they haven't started. But for them to give you one reason, it's a problem. But the major problem is money. Is money everything when starting a business or when branding? Well, I would like to say that, um, you know, in, when, when you, are, you, know, you want to run a business, you should have a plan. Okay? Mm -hmm. So this business idea that you found, this business idea that you found, how are you going to implement it? There are several ways to come about this. I'm not sure the investor is going to, is looking, I'm not sure any investor is looking for branding mm -hmm. before they would like to invest in you. They look out for your business plan, mm -hmm. okay? That contains, you know, your strategies to establishing this business, mm -hmm. okay? And, and when you put up a business plan, and you don't have money, then you should look at someone who has money because someone has an idea, someone has money. You come together, you'll be able to execute this, all right? So the moment you do this, you should, you should put it at the back of your mind or in the plan that you need a brand strategy. Don't, mm -hmm. don't do without brand strategy. So when you, you're able to pitch to an investor and then the investor comes in, you know, you, you know, in the business plan, you should let the investor know that we have to invest in brand strategy to, to enable us to stand out in the market and properly connect with our target audience, mm. right? So I see no reason why you can think of, 
you know, approaching an investor to invest in what you want to come about mm -hmm. and you do away with brand strategy. Brand strategy is one thing that will properly, you know, introduce you to the markets. It's one thing that will attract the audience. And that is something that you need to, you know, invest in, 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 in so much. And um, I, I, I would say that it's, it's something that is equally worth the investment. Mm -hmm. So... It's, it's, it's not worth discussing. I mean, it's not something that we should say that, I mean, let's not put money, um, let's not put so much into branding. From my point of view, it requires a lot. I know uh, people, well, they are, they are in the United States right now. They are charging over $10,000 for putting up a, a brand strategy. And they, they are not compromising on, on how much they are worth because they know that someone, a, a, a company like Coca-Cola might come to them and seek for their brand strategy, right? So you should be thinking big. It's not their problem that you're not thinking big. If you are thinking big, you would want to seek, you know, investors to come on board, and then you invest into your brand strategy. I really like what you said, and that is very deep. And that is what I always tell young people, that, look, whatever you don't have, somebody has it in abundance. Exactly. Right? <laughs> it's very simple. If you don't have knowledge, somebody has got that knowledge in abundance. Exactly. If you don't have wisdom, somebody has got that wisdom in abundance. If you don't have money, somebody has got that money in abundance. So whatever you don't have, somebody has it. It is your duty to learn how to connect with the people that have what you don't have. And that is the problem of so many people. And you see, to even network is a skill that people should learn. <laughs> yeah. For me, I don't know. I've been doing this business for the last 10 years. <laughs> I can proudly tell you I'm not contactless here. Yeah? <laughs> not only Ghanaians, not only people in the UK, across the globe. Because I've interviewed people from all walks of life. From the most poorest person to the rich man. I've interviewed all. So you need to know how to network with people. Because your network is a serious asset to your business. And that is yeah. what a lot of young people are struggling. If you don't have money to start your business, somebody has it. If you don't know exactly. how to brand your business, somebody has got knows how to brand it. You need yeah. to network. And it's not everything that you need to pay money. Some of the things is about, hey, come and be my brand strategy. I'll give you 3% of my business. That's all. I, I, know, I know of a business that when the person was starting the business, somebody just put in like 70,000 Ghana cities. And recently, the person took out about $432,000 out of the business because the business has grown. The value of the business has increased. Oh. So whatever you don't have, somebody has it. The problem with that is that it looks like we are always waiting to really do everything by ourselves. And because of that, we continue to wait and wait and wait, and everything what everything becomes like stale, and we are not able to. Someone, move. someone will be running the idea. <laughs> and yeah. then you say your idea has been stolen. Exactly, exactly. But but let me go into brand strategy, right? How yeah. how do somebody build strategy? I want you to bring it down to to the layman's uh, layman, layman's point of view. How can one build a strategy that is going to make them stand out in the marketplace using their brand? Okay. So the, the one, one major point for branding is to be unique and be recognized yeah. in the market. Okay. So there is a framework that we follow when we are developing brand strategies. Just yeah. like how if you want to put up a business plan and you are not going to an expert for putting up a business plan, you, you may want to do it yourself, which is fine. It has to follow a framework. It has to follow, you know, a model, all right? And in doing this, you see, the reason why I would recommend an expert like myself for you is because this has to be creative. So not everyone has that creative idea. You can have the... You can, you can have the, the framework, all right? You can have the framework, but how to make the ideas you are putting out there very creative demands someone who is creative. 
So not everyone is creative. You see the skin care I, I put up? Believe me, a lot of people wouldn't be able to do this until you do it for them to see. Because mm. I told people, some friends of mine, that I'm going to build a kinky brand. And they didn't, they didn't understand. If they knew how to be creative, they would have been thinking, okay, it could look like this, it could look like that, it could look like that. But they never could think about it, so they discouraged me. But I knew the images I was seeing in my mind because I'm creative by God's grace. So I put it out there and look at what we have now, okay? Like almost, in fact, everything you are seeing here was influenced by me. I'm not a graphic designer. I have a team of graphic designers, all right? But I tell them, do this, do that, do this. And then we come up with something very unique for your Bruni. The name you are even seeing in itself is, is coined creatively. You are seeing, yeah, a brew, ni, in chi, we say this is our corn or this is our maize. And I even put a slogan to it. I don't say so amazing. I, just, I say so amazing. So in a way, I'm trying to give you, you know, a feeling that is all about what the brand stands for or all, all about the, the industry. So amazing. If you have to be creative to be able to think about word play, Okay, so you would want to go into this and do it all right, but if Jerry Biscoff sits down, he should make a difference from what you have done, and you want to stand out as a brand. So, why don't you involve a creative director, someone who really knows how to do this thing creatively and be able to stand out properly? Wow, 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 wow. Look, I'm, I'm really enjoying this, and trust me, if you are watching this, please share this for somebody to have an opportunity to watch the last segment of this program. And I'm here with Jerry Biscoff, the brand strategy. I met this young man three years ago, and at that time, the brand wasn't this way. It was in the net. Actually, yes. I, I spoke in a conference in a church, TBC in Accra. I just came for... I just happened to be in Accra for two weeks holiday, and mm -hmm. one of my friends, Padmo, said, Oscar, you are in town. We are having a conference for the youth. We want to put you on bail. I came, mm -hmm. I spoke, and after this man came to me with his brand. And it's unfortunate he didn't give me the KK to take home. And that was very unfortunate. <laughs> I was like, this man, he shouldn't have asked me to take this KK oh, home because wow. I was very single, you know. But at the time, the KK was in a net. Yeah. So you could see that. You have now really moved to the next level of your branding. Now, that is my question to you now. A lot of people start at a certain level, but they are not able to scale their branding to the next level. What actually is that underlying factor that is not, that's not helping them to really cross to the other side of the branding? Okay. Um, <clears throat> what I would say is that you know, we, don't, we, don't get, we, we don't finish solving problems. Okay, <clears throat> so you have to start from somewhere. If it's maybe just $100,000, you, you have to start a business. It can solve the problem $100,000 can solve. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you solve that problem, you go into it. Going forward, you will encounter other challenges. You have to be bent on constantly adding value to your, your, your product or your brand. Mm. You have to be bent on doing this, mm. all right? So what you are seeing right now, to me, that's not the end of it. In the next two years, next three years, five, we should have an improvement. It could be something, another product that we have added to, you know, just the fancy kinky to, you know, expand our, our scale, okay? So you have to be bent on constantly adding value. You have to be bent on constantly innovating mm. you know once you get into that industry disrupt it to its very best mm. you don't 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 settle mm. there are lots to be discovered mm. in fact i haven't finished you know you know solving the problem of kinky but believe me i have seen so many things i can be doing with kinky trust me i've mm. seen so many things i am here you know trying to make it a food for the world someone mm. will say that hey how the white man eat kinky? You know, just think of something very nice there. I'm like, hey, hold on. Do they eat corn? Mm -hmm. Yes, they eat corn. So why can't they eat kinky when it's properly presented to them? When 
you 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 add certain things that will make them enjoy it, then you are disrupting the industry. Mm. So never settle. You should always be mm. in, in inventing. Okay. Facebook hasn't stopped inventing. Mm -hmm. Today they're adding this feature, tomorrow mm -hmm. this feature, and they keep updating. Mm -hmm. That is the sort of mindset we have to have so that we will, we will not settle. The moment you settle, a competitor will beat you to the game. Mm -hmm. Wow, yeah. wow. The moment you settle, a, competi a competitor will beat you to the game. And uh, I always say this, that whether it's personal or business, life is full of competition. But people don't believe me. And I, I, I tell people that that chair that you are sitting in that office, it is somebody's prayer topic and it is somebody's working hard to take that chair. So if you don't up your game, somebody will take that chair from me, that chair from you. And I think that is what people should understand that look, some people say I'm running my own race. If you are running your own race and you are in the same race with you see both, he will finish and you will still be crawling. <laughs> yeah. So you always run your own race, but you should have the mindset that people are also running in the same game. So if you yeah. don't up your game, they are going to bring, and the market is competitive. Whether it's a personal brand or a business brand, the market is competitive. There is no monopoly in the market anymore. Because even if you bring in a unique product, the next day people will copy it. Yeah. And if they copy it, they will bring what? Competition to you. Yeah. So I think, look, you are making some very salient points. And if I tell you I'm not enjoying this, I'm lying. Please share this for somebody to really have um, the opportunity to watch this program. Now, let's wrap up, right? How can I stand out in the marketplace? Mm. Uh, I'm a How can I be unique, right? I'm into okay. the motivational speaking space. Okay. How, can, how can I stand out that Les Brown will look at me Anthony Robbins will look at me. Um, John Maxwell will look at me. And they will say, look, Oscar, we need you on our platform because okay. you are a unique in our space. How okay. can I stand out in the marketplace? All right. So uniqueness is more like saying carving a niche. Okay. Mm -hmm. You should be able to you know, look at yourself and see that, okay, this is what I want to do. I want to be in the motivational speaking mm -hmm. um, industry. I want to be a motivational speaker. But what is the topic that nobody is talking about, that mm. I'm passionate about? Mm. What is that one thing that people are not focusing on? Mm. Then you look at that and say, okay, I want to hit motivational speaking from this angle. Mm. Maybe you want to just tackle depression. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are just targeting business owners, entrepreneurs, motivating them. But do you know that Entrepreneurs also get depressed. Mm -hmm. So how about just carving that niche, looking at depression side of, of, of things and, and just helping to, you know, you know, get people inspired and not be depressed, which will lead to committing suicide. So mm -hmm. by so doing, you, 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 you find a space for yourself. So mm -hmm. one thing I tell people is you have to be able to, you know, develop a flagship product. Mm -hmm. This brand you are seeing, Yabroni, is not just what Jerry Biscoff is doing. But this is what has introduced Jerry Biscoff to the limelight, okay? This is my niche, uh, my, my flagship product or my, my flagship brand. I'm doing this so well so that the moment you see this, you would want to know about the, the brain behind this. And when mm -hmm. you find the brain behind this, the brain mm -hmm. behind this is going to sell something else to you, brand strategy. Other companies that I'm running, I will sell them to you. Oh, I see that you're doing something like this by getting to know the people personally, you know, building that relationship. Oh, I've discovered that you are selling this, right? Um, can you also, you know, look at the other business that I have, you know, now we've become family, that I'm able to sell other things to them. So this is a flagship product that I built. Mm. And I understand what it's going to do for me. If I, if I master it, stay in that space, master this, mm. then it, it, it's, it's going to, you know, stand out on its own because it's solving a particular problem that other mm. people are not focused on, mm. okay? So by so doing, you'll be very unique in the market and mm. always never compromise on, you know, what you, you say you are. Mm. Because if, if I say I'm man of excellence, by the way, that's my mantra. 
Now, I, I love to, to be referred to as man of excellence. Mm. And it, it, it should reflect. That's one guiding principle that I have. It should mm. reflect in everything that I do. The works of my hand mm. should be excellence. All right? So I won't compromise on this value. Never mm. compromise on your values. Never compromise on mm. your, you know, the plans that you've put in place for you to be able to stand out in the market. The moment you do that, you are just going to be just, just like, you know, every other person person or every other brand is mm. wow 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 look you are so on point here yeah, that i cannot fault you too much um because uh, look wh when i started i was just doing most topics right now but now i've positioned myself on mindset right okay. and okay. i've got a book that is coming out called mindset revolution re-engineering the mind from prison to purpose right okay. and I did, I did, I did a presentation uh, in a group, and when I finished, like what you are saying, just today they came back and they say, Oscar, is there, is there any other topics that apart from you know you said you are positioning yourself for mindset, but is there any other topics that you can like to share on our groups? Now mm -hmm. I have sold extra to them today, <laughs> you yeah. know. Yeah. So you yeah. are so on point, and it's like. Look, I think you have got a very good future. There is one thing that you said, and that is you are a man of excellence. Thank you. And that man of excellence should reflect in your brand. And yeah. you cannot say one thing and do something different. Yeah. And that is what a lot of young people struggle with. Yeah. They, are, they, they are too quick to give a promise, yeah. but to keep the promise is a problem. And uh, that is what I think a lot of young people who are into business are struggling. You see, it, it you, you can find it so easy to get a customer. But to keep a customer is the problem. Mm. For somebody to be loyal to you is where the challenge is. So you can convince somebody to buy your product. But what you say your product is, is it what the person is going to experience? Right? I remember one of my hashtag is, it's possible if only you believe. Mm? Yeah. And one day I was speaking to a guy and I was like, Charlie, things are very difficult too. And the guy said, it is possible if only you believe. <laughs> Meaning that the guy was quoting me. Yeah. From that time, I woke up and I said, no, I have to be careful. Because I'm, I'm, saying, I'm not living. Yeah. And that is what is killing a lot of small and medium enterprises, especially business startup. And trust me, Ghana is a place, Africa is a place for you if you can continue to build this. Right? I've got so many comments here. Let me try and really... Um, read some of them. PK Quay says, Step out. Yes, that is the step out brand. Uh, With this, you step out after every program. You need to go out there and pursue. And that is what the program is all about. Yes. And I've got Nana Bwati say, Global brand strategist Jerry Biscoff. I've got Plov TV saying, Hello, host. All right, so for those of you, that um are watching us i'll be on plus tv on friday 2 p.m and we are going to, to talk about how to decode your purpose in life <laughs> a lot of people are struggling now just because they have not been able to decode your purpose yeah. until you are able to decode that trust me you will struggle because yeah. jerry has been able to decode this he's so passionate about brand and you yeah. see one thing about your purpose is that when you identify it there is no way you can fail. Mm. Because you yeah. never see a footballer that goes to the pitch and they get scored 3-0 and the next day they say they are not playing football anymore. Never. <laughs> so mm. when you start the business and you quit, it means that it's not your purpose. Yeah. Because nobody in life quits their purpose. Whether they yeah. are successful or not, they never quit. That's true. And that is what we'll be going to talk about. Decoding your purpose. So we will put it out there. Just if you haven't identified your purpose, even if you have, you need to join us on Plof TV all the way from Nigeria. That Prince Hodezi, Hodezi, I hope I've got your name right. He says, I see you global brand strategies. Akosia Tiwa say great. 
Uh, Daniel says, useful discussion. PK Kwe says, business ought to be value-driven. I've got both a build on say, this is great. Keep it up, dear. Kweku Sinti Mensa say, solid guy. Rest not, Jerry. Then Felix Tete says, inspirational boss. Uh, Omoni Yitolu says, innovative update. Then Priscilla Maduka gives thumbs up. Olanian Yetunde says, customer service. Too many um, 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 comments over there. Um, are you a Katangi? Am I what? Are you a, a Katanga Hall? Guys? No, no. Okay, because... I, I stood at GTU, Ghana Technology University. All right, all right. Because uh, Koku City Mesa is saying, rest not, and that is uh, the slogan of Katanga. Yes, now before I go, let me do a few mentions of our sponsors. This program is sponsored by ALS Global Shipping and Logistics, your trusted import and export company based in Accra. ALS says if you are stranded at the port, call them and they will sort you out. Train to inspire uh, consultancy for all your business training needs and consultancy. Contact Train to Inspire Consultancy. Actually, I am the brain behind Train to Inspire. So you can't fault us. We have got a powerful team that in different aspects of business across the globe that can come to help shape your business. And we also work with second cycle institutions, colleges and universities in relation to the personal development of students. The school teaches you how to pass your exam and to get first class, but they don't teach you how to survive in the market. Whilst they teach you for four years to pass your exams, we will teach you how to survive in the market and how to thrive and achieve your goals. Because many finish school, but the marketplace becomes a jungle for them. And that is how they give up so soon. But we train to inspire consultancy, we will be there to support you. Also, um, Zipay Ghana Limited, your remittance and mobile money company based in Ghana, they just launched their Zipay Mobile Money USSD code, which is star 270 hash. Just dial it on your phone to register for Zipay Mobile Money. If you want to contact any of our sponsors, their numbers are scrolling on the screen. Take it and contact them. When you contact them, just tell them you got it from T2I TV UK and you are more likely to get a very good deal. If you want to support what we are doing, last year we interviewed over 100 young people. This year we have started. We want to take this to the corners of the world. We need the support of each and every one. We support the comedy platforms. We support the entertainment platforms. We support the politics platform. Even we support the platforms that are designed to abuse and destroy people. When it comes to platforms that is going to educate the young people on the continent, we don't want to know. But we cannot do it alone. We need your support. We need your support. Your support can be just liking our page. Your support can be sharing this for somebody to watch this. Your support can be your knowledge to really build a global brand out of this TV station. Contact the T2Y TV UK number or the Train to Inspire Consultancy if you want to sponsor any of our shows or you want to support what we are doing. Mr. Jerry, it's been wonderful having you and I enjoyed every bit of this discussion. Thank you very much, sir. Now, what is your last word to everyone that is watching us? My last word. I want to deal with mindsets. And I'm so glad you are into mindsets, you know, um, issues. You, you are dealing with mindsets, poor mindset. Yeah. So, you know, my experience in building brand strategy, I realized that, you know, people come to me and uh, they come to me asking for something that is not the way to go. Now, you have seen this young man who is building, you know, brand strategies. You have believed in him because you've seen that he's done it for someone and it's working. You come to him and you're sharing ideas 
that wouldn't help you. You see, the mindsets that you have will influence the business that you're running. Mm. But if you're able to bring a team on board to help you, you know, to position your, your business properly, you should trust the team that you have. Mm. Trust the team that you have to, to deliver what they say or, or, you know, what they say they can deliver for you. But people come and then they want something that they think will help them. If you are telling them that this won't help you, they find it so difficult to understand. You allow them to go and they go and they come back to you and tell you that, oh, it's true. Uh, change this, change that, change that. You see, if we don't understand how branding works, let's trust, you know, the process. When you come to me, I entreat you to trust the things that I'm doing. And also seek knowledge when you are building a brand. Seek knowledge. It's equally important for you to understand what you know brand is all about or branding is all about. So if you have this knowledge for yourself, it doesn't make you go wrong when you are building what you have to build. And one last thing I would want to add is that if you're a young man in Africa, you should understand that Africa has so much wealth in here. And the wealth is disguised in the problems that we have. So if you sit somewhere and say that there are no opportunities in Africa, my brother, my sister, you are joking. Because there are lots of things that you don't like. The moment you identify something that you don't like, it is an opportunity. An opportunity in disguise. Take hold of it. Be courageous. Solve the problems. Learn how to monetize these things that you are doing. Because time is money. You can't spend time on doing something and not have a uh, I mean, not have something out of it. The moment you spend time doing these things, you you discover that your blessing has been hi hidden in these problems that your heart so much dislikes. So this is what I would want to tell the young people in Africa. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's been wonderful having you. And trust me, I enjoyed every bit of it. And thanks for your time as well. Thank you. Wow, and for everyone that is watching us, we want to say thank you for your precious time. Please share this, like our page, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Share this for somebody to watch this. Let's make this page go viral. We cannot do it alone with your support. This will be the go-to platform where when everybody thinks education, they will come here and learn. Can you imagine if you've been with them since last year by now? the kind of discussions that we have had and what you would have learned. Now, trust me, instead of going to read a book for so many days, Jerry has really summarized it in one hour for you. And yeah. that is what we do for you. Sometimes you can even read the book, but you will never understand what the book is all about. But with here, we really, we really bring it to your level so that you can learn. But my one advice to young people is that seek help we have got to the stage where we want everything for free if you don't have the money to pay you can really build what value so i bring my value on board then i become a part of your business or do this and at a certain stage this is what you are going to get then you leave you have to always trade value. Don't wait to get thousands of CDs before you start your business, thousands of dollars. No. Start with nothing. And you, and you can start business with nothing these days. You can start business with nothing. Because whatever you don't have, somebody has it. And it is about time you stop waiting to save for 10 years to build that business. By the time the 10 years is up, the market is already choked with your idea because people are already running with the idea. <laughs> I had a lady who came to me and she was like, I want to start this business, but I want to start in five years time because by that time, my children would have grown. I said, forget it. Five years time, people will be running with the business. <laughs> you don't need a prophet and anointing. You don't need to drink anointing oil to know this because the market is moving fast. Everybody is thinking nowadays. So nobody is waiting for you to come and implement anything. Before you have thought, somebody has really run with it already. So it's about time we don't delay. 
And trust me, let's believe in ourselves. The continent of Africa is full of problems. Find a problem and solve. Because people buy solutions, people don't buy problems. And when there are so many problems, it means that there are so many opportunities for us to find solutions. Let us start working hard. There are so many products that are in Africa that all that they need is value addition. Yeah. The story of Coco King, he just added value to cocoa, that is porridge. And today, he is swimming in money. Now look at Yabroni, somebody adding value by branding Kenke. And the Kenke that people are selling on the street, he is rather selling it to big brands and big shops. <laughs> this is very innovative. And how much does it cost for you to brand Kenke? <laughs> Everybody, even you can choose not to buy credit for one month and you can brand your Kenke. Yeah. The amount of money we spend on credit, if you are diligent and you want to save money, you can start branding the Kenke. It doesn't cost too much. There are so many ideas that we can build from that continent. And it's about now starting to think about finding solutions instead of discussing problems. And that is the only way we can succeed as young people. Thank you very much, Jerry, for your time. And everybody that watched this program, we say thank you very much. We are here on Thursday. On Thursday, I have got an academician from the University of Ghana, Dr. Isaac Riafi. We are going to talk about how we can start using successful Black Africans and Ghanaians as case studies in the classroom. We are still using the Bill Gates as case study, but can we use Despite Media as a case study? Because they have been tested on the continent, they have been tested with our culture, they have been tested with all the innovations and all the challenges on the continent. So why don't we use them as a model that students can learn and integrate that model in the system. Is that possible? If you really want to join us, just join us on Thursday, 8 p.m. It's going to be a powerful discussion. God richly bless everyone. We are here on Thursday, 8 p.m. GMT. You can't afford to miss. God richly bless everyone. God bless you, Jerry, for your time. And we yeah. pray that Yabroni will be a global brand as you have started penetrating the U.S. market. God bless you. Amen. Amen. God, God, bless. You. God bless you. Bye bye to everyone.
I am so excited. I am so excited because the Step, the Step Out, Out TV, TV shows, shows are back live on T2I TV. And for those who don't know, Step Out is a series of interviews and motivational segments designed to bring the best out of you and your business. Therefore, we have the following TV programs. Our first TV program, which is our flagship program, dubbed Step Out Step with Out Oscar, with Bimpong, Oscar Bimpong, Bimpong, is designed to interview consultants, experts, talented people, and those doing exceptionally well in their communities. The second one is Step is Out Step SME, Out, SME, SME Focus. 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 This is where we interview business owners and showcase their products and services. The third one is Step is Out Step Youth, Out Impact, Youth Zone. Impact Zone. This is where we interview young people succeeding against all odds to serve as an inspiration to other young people. And the last one is Step Out Authors, Authors Corner. Corner. And this is where we interview authors to share what their book is about to the world. Join us every week. Like T2I TV on Facebook and subscribe to the YouTube channel. To advertise or for further information, do WhatsApp plus 44759-1152983 or plus 233-5580-3924 or email info at traintoinspire.com. T2I TV, we engage, educate, enlighten, and empower. empower.